In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an animation of such vertical bars that represent a series of data, where the data is coming from an Excel file. We will take this Excel as an input and create an animation like this in Blender. We need to first prepare an Excel file with our data. The top row has to be a header row. And we have various financial numbers on these columns. Let's say we want to animate the sales data for each of these months. So let us start with a blank new file. We will create everything through Python script, so we can delete this cube. Now we have to open a text editor from here, and then click on this new button. We will get an editor here, where we can paste our script. This code will enable Blender to read from an Excel file, we need to execute it only for the first time. The code is given in the video description, and we can run it from here. It can take some time to execute. If there is any error, we can check it from the system console. So here it will show the message if there is any error. Now back to the editor, we can remove this one-time code and paste the actual code that will animate the data from our Excel file. This code is also given below, but there are few changes to be made here. This is the location of our Excel file. You must change it to the file location where you have your file. Now, in our Excel file, we can see that the sales data is at column 3 and the month is given in the second column. So similarly in our code, we have mentioned the data column as 3, and the month column as 2. You can customize the look and feel of the animation from here, and then run the script. You'll discover that some new objects are created by the script. But by mistake, do not run the script twice, otherwise you'll end up with a duplicate set of these objects. Now we can go back to the 3D viewport. Let us switch over to the rendered view mode and enable the HDRI lighting. So we can see that Blender has created several objects and text fields here, but everything is not yet visible, since we are at the start of the animation. If we run the animation, the bars will pop up for each month, along with the sales amount. So this is how you can convert your Excel data into an animation. The bars may look little jagged in this preview, but they will get rectified in the final render. The script will also set the end frame number suitably, so the animation will repeat after the first run, but you can change this if you need. If you know Python, you can further improve on this and create more complex animations. The most interesting thing is, you can make any changes directly in your Excel file and run the script again, it will update the animation accordingly, you don't need to do anything extra, it's fully automated. In our Excel data, we have some other columns as well, and let's say we want to animate them, along with the sales numbers. In that case, the code will be little longer, in order to incorporate the additional columns. If you are a member of this channel, you can download this blend file with the entire code shared in our community tab. Otherwise also, you can build it yourself, following the same technique that we discussed, and get an output like this. If you are stuck anywhere, you can ask your questions in the comments section. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, and join us through the join button.